All right, let's take a look at how to deploy an app to devices in your organization. Deploying apps through Intune is awesome because it's a centralized management system that gives you control over how you want to distribute those apps to the devices. So you can group the devices and then you can take the apps and push them to those groups that are appropriate. So that way you can ensure that the proper app is being installed correctly and securely to the device that needs to have it. All right, so let's take a look. So inside of Intune, we are going to go over to apps. And then inside of apps, we're going to choose the platform because we can make apps for all of these devices that we are managing, right? So I'm going to choose Windows. And inside Windows, I can choose add. And it's going to give us the type of app. So we have a Microsoft Store app, which is the new type um, of Microsoft Store because the legacy one is being deprecated. So that'll be gone. You can do a 365 app for Windows 10 and later. Something for Windows Edge. A web application. And then a line of business app or a Windows app that's Win32. So there's so many different types of apps that you can deploy. So we're going to jump up here and go to the Microsoft Store app with the new one. And we are going to select that. And then from here, we get to select an app. So what we can do is we can search the Microsoft Store. What's nice about using the Microsoft Store with the apps is that it automatically updates when the device updates because it's all part of the same system. So you don't have to re-upload a newer version of the app and redeploy it and schedule updates. If it's available within the Microsoft Store, it's managed through Microsoft with the updates. So let's pick, uh, see if we can find Translate. All right. So you can see that there's all kinds of Translate apps in here. Okay. So maybe we can go back and try Microsoft and search on something like that. So see how there's all different types of things. So whiteboard, right? We can push whiteboard, photos, weather, HoloLens if you have it, remote desktop app. So lots of apps. So we'll jump to whiteboard and we'll push that app. So I'm going to select it. And now it's automatically populating the name, the description, the publisher, the page identifier. The install behavior is going to the user. So it's tied to the user. Wherever the user logs in, this app will install and follow them as opposed to a system based. So we don't want to use it for the system in this case. We want to use it in the user. We can categorize it if we like, and that'll help on the uh, uh, store for business, the you know company portal. And then it'll categorize it for users who want to go and pull it because we can have it as a featured app on the company portal, which means it'll show up right in front of them and they can select it optionally to add. So we're not going to make it mandatory if we put it in the company portal. We can make it optional. But I'm going to make sure everybody has this on their computer. So as we go through, we go next and we assign it. So here we can add groups. And when you add the groups, it's going to make sure that it's on those devices. So it's, it's required. Now, we can make it available for these enrolled devices. And that's where the company portal comes in. And then they'll see it and they can install it. But what's also interesting is if we were to put a group with the uninstall, if they had the whiteboard app already on their computer and we added them to the uninstall group, it will remove that app from their computer. That's interesting. So there might be times where there's apps that are preloaded or the user loads it and we don't want it on there. So you can put that app in an uninstall mode that'll make sure that it removes it from those computers. Once you've assigned it where you want it to go, you click next, you review it, and you can create it. And then once you create it, it saves it and it will add it and then give you the install status on the properties. And that is how you install an app through Intune.